Hello and welcome to part 14 of the Gage 1 LMS carriage build. As you can see now, the coaches have got their final finishing coat on them. And this coat will also protect the transfers, the water slide transfers as well. And it will protect it from any grease or oil that we pick up while we're running. You know, it's always um, able now to rub them down with a cloth and that'll keep those reasonable. What we're ready to do now is to put the windows in. Uh, we can start to open these out now and remove the, uh, the masking that we've had all the time here while we've been doing the painting and uh, finishing off the varnish. And what I've discovered and what I'm going to do for the windows um, if you're familiar with the laminators and you, you laminate cards and things, you get this, this is one of them before it goes through the laminator. Now if you just put it through the laminator on its own, you get a rather nice clear piece of plastic that actually looks quite good as a window. If I drop it in there you might see the effect and you get a reasonable looking window in there. So that's our next task is to remove all the the masking tape from the windows and we can then go ahead and put the windows in. The next thing I would do is just put self-adhesive tape on here and the idea is that they will just stick onto there like so. I treat building these a bit like building a film set. You only add the detail with what the camera will see and I think the same is true on this is you'll only add the detail and what the eye will see. So when we take these off So I've removed the backing now, so we've just got the adhesive visible and it's merely now a case of just dropping these windows into position. So we just have to get these right. There you can see the difference now with the empty window the window with no fray with no glass in and the two windows that I've just done and you can certainly see now that there appears to be glass in there and you get the effect. Now comes the tricky bit. We're now going to fit the the roof into position. Um, after a bit of thought and trial and experiment I decided that the roof is going to have to be anchored in some way. Uh, it's not going to, with all the running on the track, I don't think it's necessarily going to stay in position on its own weight. So the plan is to just tack the roof down at the ends. But before we do that, uh, what I will need to do is put some masking tape just along these faces here, just to keep any glue off our nicely finished surfaces. So that'll be our next job to add the masking tape. And as I mentioned, this is just going to tack the ends down. So once this is mixed, I've got about two minutes to get this into position. So I'll put the glue on, so it's fiddly stuff. We now position our roof. Lower down gently. And that is actually starting to go actually starting to go off now. Sure got the overlap right. The coach roof is in position now, so that's held reasonably well now, so that will take all the knocks and bumps that is running on the track. 
and what I'm doing now is just putting back some of the detail some of the detailing that I made in some of the earlier episodes this is some uh, outside plumbing that fits on the roof I think it's got something to do with the water I'm not too sure I'm sure if there's any experts out there they'll tell me exactly what these pipes do also ready to fit on our little coach corridor connectors uh, we saw these made in one of the early episodes these are just going to be lightly fitted on uh, they don't take a great deal of weight so I should just tack those on very loosely into position uh, just give that a tiny little run tiny little dab of glue on here that should just allow this to fit neatly into here so drop the corridor connector piece in and we can do the same on the other side on the other end ready to put some of the final detailing on this is the these are the grab handles on the door handles we're now ready to put those on looking at various pictures of LMS coaches the door handles go just about level with the window cutout if we take a line down from the window cutout and they're actually in the center almost between the carriage stripe and the bottom of the bottom of the door window so what I'm going to do just with my brooch is make a little starting hole for the drill to catch on get my little portable drill with our very fine drill and just fill that hole through there that should do and if I've done my sums right and measuring right this should just be a nice push fit it's a little bit tight at the moment so this is where the brooch comes in useful these are very useful little tools if you're familiar with them they're very good just for opening out drill holes to enlarge them slightly they're a nice little tool to have so I've just opened that up a little bit more and we shall try again uh, that's better that's a nice push fit there now now gone in I felt it go in so there is our first door handle in position okay we've got the holes drilled and it's now a case of just squeezing gently coaxing these through and I can just feel them click in there um, what we shall do now is work through and do the others door handles and grab handles are in position now and this is probably about one of the last jobs that need to be done on the carriages and that's adding the black guttering this is just a piece of styrene strip painted matte black Well here's the coaches finish now, out on the track and I hope you agree they've not come out too bad. <laughs>